Welcome to another Taylor Theory Quickie. Here's a question from the FAA database. To enter a constant airspeed descent from level cruising flight and maintain cruising airspeed, the pilot should. And we're given these three scenarios here, which we'll work through individually in the sim. Scenario A, first reduce power, then adjust the pitch using the attitude indicator as a reference to establish a specific rate on the VSI. So our speed's currently 101 knots. Here's the power reduction. And you can see while I'm maintaining the pitch, the speed is bleeding off and we lose around 10 knots of airspeed. I've now selected a roughly four degree pitch down pitch attitude, which you can see is not giving us a specific rate on the VSI. This is still fluctuating. And you'll also notice that it's taking the speed a long time to get back up to the original cruise speed. And given these factors, I think we can safely say that A is not the way. Scenario B, first adjust the pitch attitude to a descent using the attitude indicator as a reference. Then adjust the power to maintain the cruising airspeed. So the speed is currently 103 knots. I've pitched down now to a descent attitude of around 4 degrees pitch down. Let's have a look at the speed. You can see the speed has now increased by about 10 knots and therefore we haven't maintained the cruising speed. I've now reduced the power and you can see it's taken the speed a long time to reduce back to normal cruising speed. And I think we can therefore conclude that for B it is not to be. Scenario C Simultaneously reduce the power and adjust the pitch using the attitude indicator as a reference to maintain the cruise airspeed. The speed is currently 105 knots and the aircraft is in trim. As I make the power reduction, the speed initially wants to decrease. And you can see we've lost around 2 knots of airspeed. Due to the fact that the aircraft wants to maintain its trimmed airspeed, the aircraft naturally wants to pitch down. So I allow the aircraft to actually do that by itself. And as you can see here, the airspeed has actually recovered to the 105 knots. And all I need to do is make small pitch corrections using the attitude indicator in order to keep the aircraft at the correct attitude and therefore the speed will be maintained. So the answer to the question to enter a constant airspeed descent from level cruising flight and maintain cruising airspeed, the pilot should. C. Simultaneously reduce the power and adjust the pitch using the attitude indicator as a reference to maintain the cruising airspeed. 